Hello, my name is Wayne Godso from the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This tech tip will cover the steps to reset the Avaya VSP9000 to factory defaults using Enterprise Device Manager. There are a number of reasons you may want to reset the Avaya VSP9000 to factory defaults. In the event you want to delete the configuration and start with a fresh config file, if you use a chassis in a lab environment to reproduce system issues on a regular basis, if the system is regularly used for system verification or lab testing purposes, or if you want to redeploy a system from one physical or logical area in your network to a new location. In our Tech Tip example, we'll log into the VSP9000 using the Enterprise Device Manager web interface. We'll edit the master CP card by highlighting the CP card on the device physical view screen with a right mouse click and selecting edit. We'll select the boot tab in the CP card window to view the boot configuration settings. We'll select the enable factory defaults checkbox to apply the VSP9000 factory default settings upon the next reset of the chassis. Then we'll select the apply button to save the current boot config settings. We'll reset the chassis by selecting Config Edit Chassis and then select the Soft Reset button in the Action Group 4 box. Finally, we'll complete the reset by selecting the Apply button. The chassis will restart with factory default settings once the reset completes. In our Tech Tip example, we'll log into the VSP9000 Enterprise Device Manager web interface with our admin username and password. We'll edit the master CP card by highlighting the CP card with the right mouse button and then select Edit. Next we'll select the Boot tab in the CP card window to view the boot configuration settings. We'll select the Enable Factory Defaults checkbox and select the Apply button to save the current boot config settings. Now we'll reset the chassis by selecting Configuration, Edit, chassis, and then select the soft reset radio button in the action group 4 box. Finally, we'll complete the reset by selecting the apply button. The chassis will restart with factory default settings once the reset completes. As you can see, resetting the VSP9000 to factory defaults with Enterprise Device Manager is a quick and easy process. The factory default procedure is an extremely useful tool used in a number of network deployment scenarios. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.